I am independent senior sales director Mindy Morse with Mary Kay and I'm coming to you live from my front yard. I love playing in gardens um, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about my Mary Kay journey so far. I started my business 11 years ago and I want you to notice I was, I was 22. I want you to notice how hot I look. Yes. And so the products are awesome. And um, I was just out of college. I studied psychology and got a business minor from Texas Tech in Lubbock, Texas. And was not like a super girly girl. I was like, played softball and was in band and um, honestly did not just see myself as a super girly. My sister was a fashion designer. She got me this cute sweater. So that's why I'm so fashionable today. And I didn't really, you know, wear a whole lot of makeup. I wore like a mineral foundation and some mascara and probably not anything else. And I had gotten a facial a couple years prior to that while I was a sophomore in college and never, you know, would have bought anything for myself except for that night um, while I went to work. I was a hostess at night and school by day. My makeup was perfect. I remember going, um, I was like cleaning the toilet or something, and I went to the bathroom and my makeup was all perfect still. My foundation and my eyeliner and my lipstick was kind of stained. And so I, I called the lady back and I spent $45, I remember to this day, in makeup from her. And then never really thought of Mary Kay again except for I had graduated and I was wondering what I wanted to do with my life. I didn't know if I wanted to do psychology because I had struggled a lot into my sophomore year of high school with anxiety and depression and just feeling like I didn't fit in and feeling kind of different and like something was wrong with me um, and, and didn't get better because of psychologists. I met Jesus about my sophomore year of college and that really helped me personally get better. Um, but so I didn't know that if I did psychology that that would really help people in the way that I desired to. I also knew that I wanted to travel and I wanted to write books and I, w I even had an idea that I should open up a healthy drive through restaurant. Isn't that genius? I cannot believe that there really aren't more yet today. And so when some Mary Kay woman walked in and I was still working at the restaurant, I was now a waitress because I was less afraid of people. I was a hostess for three years. I was a waitress and some Mary Kay women walked in and they had fancy business suits on and they all were just lovely and I was uh, asked if I had tried Mary Kay and I had and she said um, have you heard about the business yet and so she offered me a free lipstick if I would listen about the business and so I was like yes and the next day I was a little hippie like I still am today and I had my journal and my Bible at a park and I was off the next day and I listened about the business and I heard a couple of crazy things that made me take a look at this as a possible thing. For one, the woman was from Ireland, moved to the United States at 18 years old and could not find another job that was really going to give her enough money where she could send money home to her family in Ireland. Um, so she came here with 20 bucks in her pocket, was trying to be a nanny and nothing was working. She heard about Mary Kay, she scoffed at it. But the man that she had met was a police officer. He looked into it and he said, no, this is a good deal. You should try this. She did it and she told us that her highest paycheck on this recording was $18,000 in one month. So my first thought when I honestly wasn't super positive yet of a person, um, it was hard for me still at that point when I first started Mary Kay to think positively about myself and my future. I still struggled a little bit with like depression and fears and anxiety and stuff. And so I had this thought and I was like, if she could do it, I could do it. She can come from some other country. I could do that here. So that was one thought. She also said that you didn't have to know a lot of people. If you know one person, that one person will know three people. And those three people will know three people. And I was like, you know, that's just where I was at. I was a new Christian at a new church and, and kind of in my old life, I was a little troublemaker, almost got kicked out of tech. <laughs> and I just didn't know quite where I fit yet. Um, so I didn't have a lot of friends. So I called the woman. I said, I watched the video. I want my free lipstick. She said, come get a facial tonight. Um, do you have some friends you could bring? And I was like, no. And she said, well, come anyways. And I went and I got a facial. I watched what the woman did and it seemed simple. I thought I could do that. So again, another positive thought. And at the end she said, if you have any interest, come talk with me to this back room. And me and a couple girls went and on a scale of one to 10, she asked us what our interest level was. And I was a nine. Then she said, what keeps you from being a 10? And I said, I'm afraid. And she said, what's the worst thing that could happen? And I said, I could fail. 
and she said, what's the best thing that could happen? And I said, sky's the limits, I guess. And I was already starting to think bigger. <laughs> and um, also my song was playing when I walked in that night. It was, I believe I can fly <laughs> from this like Christian conference I had gone to. And so I just decided to try it. And I, so I joined that night. My kit came in in a few days. I started practicing facials on people and we did a little party to kind of kick off my business. And um, really throughout the journey, it's been tough. It's been tough. Um, you know, when not everybody thought that Mary Kay was cool. Um, but after three years of just doing it and going for it, I loved the meetings. I loved thinking big. I loved the positivity. After three years, I had 150 customers and I had three girls on my team that loved Mary Kay too. And I was like, I want to, I want to do it. Like I believe in myself now. I've always wanted the bigger things, the bigger paychecks so I could live my dream life, you know, and open up the healthy drive to restaurant travel. Um, so I just, I, um, I just decided to go for it after I've been in Mary Kay for a little bit. I did like five other jobs too, um, because I just wrote for a newspaper and did stuff I enjoyed, but finally I was ready to do it. And once I went for it in Mary Kay, my team grew from three to 30 people. In two months, we earned a free car. And since then, for the last seven years, I have not had another job um, in Mary Kay. And we just pin I just finished paying off $20,000 in credit card debt by making a little extra every month that I needed and putting it towards that. And now I'm paying for my dream wedding and earning our first pink Cadillac as a team. And, um, and want to also earn uh, my down payment for a dream house. So thank you so much for tuning in and hearing my story. God bless you. And if you could do anything, what would you do? And how might Mary Kay be a benefit to you? Thank you.